This is Joe again and welcome back to Lone Fungus where we're exploring the gold mines and I went ahead and went down here to the place where we can continue now using the rails. Restoration Protection Relic gives you a protective barrier after healing. Really good relic for my build. How much does it cost? Eight. That's interesting. And we get a shrine. Command. Thou shalt not harm thy fellow fungi in everything. Do to others what you would have them do to you. Okay, the golden rule. How? What? What? I don't understand. Uh, equip. Equip that and that. Shroomukan. Uh, what did you say? No. How does it work? It said up, down. No. Okay, that works. Okay, good try. Good try. Doesn't work. Doesn't work the other way around. Can't do that to the right. I think I... What the fuck? Can we use any of the others to... No. How? How? This is the last key we need, but how? We can't teleport to shrines yet. We would have to walk all the way back here again. Is there something we're missing? Does that one work for that? No. Hmm. 
No. Uh, we have something else that we can shoot, which is this. Doesn't work. That doesn't activate this. Um, <clears throat> what about the emblems? A laser. Doesn't work for my own project, does. Um, what do we want here? Mind parry, protection parry. Auto parry. Beef up the parry, I think. Um, hmm. How? <laughs> okay. Wow, actually using the freaking teleportation wand for something. Okay, uh, golden door. Up and right from here. Wow. That was an interaction that I didn't foresee. I guess I should have probably come up with that solution earlier. Okay, not immediately boss fight. Hallelujah! Royal ornament. Okay. Teleport here. Oh my god, that upgrade is so important. Uh, lower left in this room. Also, this room looks like... There will be stuff hiding behind doors. Everywhere. Hey. 
Yes, hidden doors here, yeah, definitely. There's definitely something hidden somewhere here. Walls of this room are too perfect otherwise. Okay, I am proven wrong. Okay, to the left we go. That puzzle was so interesting. Two pathways around this. Never there will be two hidden walls in the same room. Never, I said. Never, I said. Apparently, t actually never. Okay, this goes towards Frozen Depths. Which is basically the last place we need to go to. Wait. We should try to not fucking get that spell because we want the bad ending. And I think we're screwing ourselves out of the bed ending. Push it. Ouch. Out of the bed ending if uh, we're getting the last spell before climbing up there. So we need to find a way to climb up there. Ouch. I'm sorry, I didn't think you would be able to hit me. Through the floor. That one is aggroed or not? Not. Okay. That one. There's no hidden walls here. Hidden walls. Uh, fake walls. Goblin Rogue has a straight attack pattern. Okay, so on our first entry into the frozen depths, we made the wrong directional moves, huh? Because this actually 
doesn't get me anywhere. Just manipulated ourselves into a dead end there. Yeah, there's only this one. Oh, God. Interesting that it also sh it should connect back to here. Of all places. Kind of bad that we didn't get a thing here. I don't know what mechanic I marked as that. Apparently there's 17 markers on the map. This is possible then. This should be possible. This should be possible. This. Oh god, we're actually missing the fucking one thing that makes me able to do high jumps. Are we screwed out, out of the bad ending because of that? Wrong direction, man. Let me go over there. I'm gonna find another shrine. Okay, ice elemental. Know what at least one of the bosses down here will be. Every time there was an elemental, there was also a boss fight with that elemental, a big version of it. What? Oh. Wrong type of enemy. Did not see that it was a rogue. We've been to the right, the map says. Okay, he always does two shots in a row, good to know. Wow. When going towards this place from the other side, I did not realize like how obviously we su were supposed to go here from the other direction. It's way harder from this side. So this is where we didn't continue exploring. Uh, that power... Do you mean? Is there a relic in that form? No. I'd like that one. I'd like to have that one. Okay. We never fully paid attention to this room. Up left is definitely a dead end. Let's go. Oh yes, thank you for the pogo that I put in. You chose a great moment. Be stupid, okay. Okay, over here. This was not the dead end. Are you kidding me?
so many fucking pathways. What? No! I had to look downward momentum all of a sudden. Idiot. that which idiot half a millimeter short apparently the main challenge of this is not the ducking as intended by the developers but not jumping too early Idiot! I don't think upper right should be duck. Bullshit! Hello, down. Hello? Jump height? Jump height? That's the problem. That's why I'm pressing right, uh, right trigger to... Are you kidding me? I was past it. Hello? I didn't let go. Hello? It didn't dash. I definitely got the crystal, but it didn't dash. It didn't dash. Jump height problems here. Yeah. Idiot. Idiot. Idiot! Idiot.
Why didn't I press the button? I was there. I forgot where the button was on the controller or something like idiot. Something like that. Ha. Huh? Just give me that fucking idiot. Almost idiot. Hä? Huh? Why do I sometimes bonk, bonk my head there and sometimes not? Idiot. Hä? Huh? Why is that a downward bounce? Why is that a downward bounce? I have upward momentum. Asshole. Idiot. Idiot. Almost screwed it up. Hä? Huh? It didn't jump. Instead it ducked. Idiot. I never ducked. Now we have a fucking hypersensitive D-pad all of a sudden that ducks all the time. Idiot. Why do I get downward momentum from that fucking last obstacle? Why do I get downward momentum from this? I just wanna hit this left trigger, right trigger, and then slide here and do that jump, crouch, and jump. Shouldn't be that problematic. This is the last hard obstacle that I'm faced with now. Hello. Push it. Hello, jump heights. Consistency. That worked every time until it didn't. And that gets down with momentum. I give up. That was like 10 minutes trying that. And uh, that one wall gives us downward momentum, which is unreal. I don't get this mechanic. I mean that this is just Oh god, if this if any of this is what I need to get up, then I have a fucking problem because I think that will be this thing here. Although it doesn't look like it. Maybe it will automatically open. Just to look at the left exit once. 
Yes, and a hub room is once again followed by another hub room. Just wanted to see whether there is stuff over here, but there doesn't seem to be any breakable walls and or other things. Okay. Look down. More hub rooms. Yes! Now we got enemies that are the same, but with weird uh, homing magic attacks that also go through walls. Okay. Go left. Okay, I wasn't allowed to properly walk here, so whatever. Need the great slash again. What's that? Frost guard. That is one shot. A large great slash increases the size of your great slash. I would like the fast great slash, please. Or may master's glory, as those who are in the know are knowing that that's the way, right way to call it. This looks weird. It's just a weird bit kind of texture. Mindshroom. Mindshroom apparently does something, but we collected so many of them that I assume the single Mindshroom is not worth it. Going out of the way for... Ah, yes! More hubs! Hubs meaning in a 2D game, rooms with more than one exit. Especially interesting in, for example, room randomizers, when every single exit out of a room is randomized to lead to something random. Wow, that was good English show. Uh, no. that one oh we're silenced here okay uh, it doesn't work here but might work in other places
Okay, this is the room before the spell thing. Doesn't mean that I don't take the fucking uh, shrine here. And I also didn't go down there. Great. Nice. We can climb with that. Hello. I would like to have my jump, please. Here we go. Up, two right, one down. down from here. I haven't been in this room at all. Let's talk to Icy Mushroom. I've kept the secret for so long. Check above the commandment in color caverns. That's my friend where my friends where we found uh, the iron key. Okay so there was a hint for that. That was just a random thing. I was starting to go for for like re-exploring the entirety of color caverns again. I need to remember that I didn't check the upper half of this room. Goblin mage. That's what they're called. Interesting. Commandment. Thou shalt respect the sacred places of the kingdom and not defile them. This leads down. Okay. Bullshit. Okay, down, right, left. Are you kidding me?
taking that. Nice. A uh, lower place should be blocked. Oh my god. That one is annoying. That's even more annoying than the same version of that. On the other thing. Okay. Okay, dead end room. Wait, wait, so long that I couldn't heal. Nice. That's probably the last health fragment. Otherwise, I wouldn't know where they would hide. <clears throat> okay, right. Ice fungus. Look what they have done to me. This is what happens when masters abandon their loyal servants. I assume you seek guidance for your mission to revive this place. However, I will not offer any help towards achieving your goal. Your desires to reach the surface will only result in your demise. My advice is to save yourself and leave this place. Don't sacrifice yourself for others, as your solitude will not end this way. Have you not realized that the other statues have been manipulating you all along? They want you to collect the remnants of this world so that their creators can be resurrected. However, I do not care about these dead gods. You are an innocent in all this. You are not like the mushrooms that used to inhabit this place. Their intentions were to use you only as a means for their reappearance. I don't understand. Avoid the surface at all costs, for if you were to reach it, you would trigger your own downfall. Instead, listen to me. There's a way out of this kingdom, through the undergrounds. There's a hidden path near Solitary Mindshroom. Maybe you've seen it. It's a difficult place to get to. This is your way out. Leave while you still can. Maybe there are true friends waiting for you somewhere else. Don't sacrifice yourself for others. I don't know what to believe anymore. I assure you that what I'm saying is truthful. Please take my advice and depart from this forsaken kingdom. Solitary Mindshroom in the underground. This place. So this at the end has a breakable wall and then we can leave to the right. A third ending. Can't go up here now. I mean, we could. Oh my god, this stretches for so long and I need to pee. Okay, let's go up in here. Uh, for that we... Come on, give me up. Okay, alternative. Um, okay. Okay, not like that. Okay. Okay. What? 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 
What? Okay. In training, it worked once. Get there without wall jumping. Hex mushroom. It's sad. Sometimes we are just off the wall and can't get back. I have no idea why and it took my double jump. Thank you. I think this is so much better on keyboard and mouse than this. Where the fucking buttons are tied together. Fuck! That was my chance. That is not what I pressed. Okay, that's the fucking mine shroom. Now we need to get on the other side. Uh, which I have deactivated. No chance. Okay. Can't go up there. Okay, this is... Dead end from the other side. This is... Jump up. Interesting that they're checking for spin jump here. Okay, I assume we're coming closer to the goblin village. Because we've seen structures or oh, this was the goblin village. We never heard anything about a goblin village, but that's just what I assume by the visuals we got. What the fuck? I think I pressed RB out of accident. That stays for way too long. Just like the thing from Hollow Knight that once upon a time Dental it.
Thank you for helping me climb. Okay, we get a boss here. Oh, does the, is the jump power here? Interesting. I think the jump power is here. Okay, we're gonna equip our usual fighting stuff. Uh, for that we need... Not the Shroomukin. Oh, that's what I accidentally did a second ago. But the strong one. And now we have another four that we could place. We assume there's no spikes and put in Mind Slash. Okay. And this is where we're going to fight a goblin themed boss tomorrow who will give us the. Um, the ability to jump using these stones which will help us in now three four five places in the entire kingdom and uh, that's a good start for the next episode whatever have a nice day see you with that